Hi, my name is Jennifer. I'm a junior in computer science, and here at Minds, I'm involved in Circle K, am a lead for the UCLIM program, and work part-time with a CMAP partner. I study computer science because I love learning how to solve some of the world's toughest problems. I welcome you to this CS at Minds Python video. In the last video, we learned about reading and writing files. Today, we're going to talk about using CSV files, which are extremely valuable in data processing. But first, let's start with a joke. Why should you take a data scientist with you into the jungle? Because they can take care of your Python problems. All right, let's get to work. As I mentioned, CSV files are extremely valuable in data processing tasks. What does CSV stand for? CSV stands for comma separated values. Hmm, that doesn't help much. What exactly is a CSV file? A CSV file is a text file that uses commas to separate its values, which are called fields. Spreadsheets and CSV files are similar in nature. For example, you can save your Excel file as a CSV file, or you can load a CSV file into Excel. Notice the example CSV file on this slide has three fields, first name, last name, and some ID number. There are four basic steps when reading a CSV file. Take a moment to read through these steps yourself. We will then work through each step in more detail with an example. Step 1. Import the CSV module. Once a CSV module is imported, then you have access to useful functions for files that are in CSV format. Step 2. Use with to open your file. As you learned in our previous video, the keyword with allows you to execute a block of statements associated with a file that is open. And then, after the block of statements is done executing, the file is automatically closed. In this example, we are opening authors.csv in read mode, and we are declaring the variable authors as our file handle for this code block. Step 3. Define a reader object for the CSV file. We define this reader object via the function csv.reader. Notice how we pass in the file handle for the file, or authors in our example, as well as a delimiter for the CSV file, which is a comma. This CSV reader object will then parse the CSV file for us. Step 4. Iterate through the reader to access your fields. We need a for loop to access each row within our CSV file. Each row within author reader will be a list, so we can print each row that we read in this manner. So, for example, with the data provided earlier, the output would look like this. Or, you can imagine adding more details to the data, such as printing row numbers with the data. The output for this case, with our example data, is shown on this slide. As before, row is the variable that prints the information from the CSV file. Notice the output format matches that of a list. Of course, since a row is a list, we can access the values within the list using indices. The code on this slide shows how we can access the first and last name separately while printing. The way the output is shown in this case is certainly easier to interpret than the list output we saw in the previous slides. Let's now talk about writing a CSV file. Writing a CSV file follows similar steps. The key differences follow. First, we need W mode instead of R mode in step two. Second, a writer object is declared instead of a reader object in step three. The delimiter parameter for the function is optional. If the delimiter is not included, a comma is used as the default. Lastly, in step four, the file is written to instead of read from. To write to a CSV file, you write one row at a time. Notice how the row you write with the write row function is a list. The example shown on this slide follows these steps. In this example, the three lists, author info one, two, and three, are written to the file authors.csv. We hope you now have a good understanding of reading and writing from CSV files. 
We encourage you to practice creating your own CSV file and then read and write from it. The more practice you do, the better understanding you'll have on input and output with CSV files. Thanks for tuning in. See you around campus.